Okie dokie. So, I'm coming to the end of Demon Souls, and basically what I want to do before I finish is take a little trip down memory lane. I remember when I first arrived here, obviously graphics were impressive. And then I was kind of didn't know which way to go, so I was going back here. Oh, of course, there was loot. And the first little. This guy here had something that I could pillage. And oh my god, these guys! When I first did this, I couldn't get past these two guys. But that's before I had the Dragon Bone Smasher. Oh yes. Little did I know that wasn't going to get anywhere until I climbed both those towers. Just in the first level. This is easier, I've got to say. Tired. Dead. Of course, when I first came, this door was shut. Oh, and I had to go all the way around up there and then across the top and then back down this one before it would open up. See, here I am up here and there, all the way down there is where I started. Oh. Come on. I can't swing this thing in that wee space. Alright then, I'll just have to stab you. And there we go, another look at where we started. God, it took me I think months, it felt like, to work my way all the way up. So back then, here we come. Oh, to my first boss fight. The Phalanx Demon. Which I managed to do in my first go. Which gave me a false sense of security. I think the other most emotional memories I have. We're fighting Flame Lurker. Oh, you were a worthy foe. That took months as well. design and just uh, unprecedented feats of imagination and utterly utterly disgusting creatures all progressing inexorably towards a final showdown with the old false king And I didn't want it to end, and so just out of sheer procrastination, I killed 
the beautiful blue dragon. Tragic. But I can't put it off any longer. Time to have a reckoning with old King Alant. Yeah. 